Good morning and welcome back to the lovely historic town of Clare and I'm right here up at the Castle Keep. I can just show you the top there, there's a lovely rounded keep here. This dates to the 13th century and it's on an enormous motte which overlooks the town. I've got a view over to the Grade 1 listed church of St Peter and St Paul over there. That is um, I think originally 13th century so it's probably contemporary with the castle. Now the walk I'm going to be doing today is known as the short long lane walk which is walk number three from the Clare short walk series and if I walk to this side of the mot and overlook the old railway station it explores the countryside all the way to the south so I'm going to be following a bit of the river and then head over to long lane which I believe is an ancient trackway that probably connected Clare Castle to Castle Headingham in Essex about eight miles or so over that way so the walk is only about two miles long, it's graded easy, and it says approximately 80 minutes to complete. We're now just crossing the River Stour. Um, the section of the river just back there is actually called New Cut, and it's not the River Stour itself, it's a little channel that I think used to feed a mill, but now crossing the actual Stour itself, it's just down here, and this is the county boundary as well. So technically, if I take a few more steps, I am now in Essex, and this is where we're gonna start heading up through the fields and then join Long Lane just south of Clare. So I'm on this track now, you can see it runs behind me. It keeps going for about a mile and a half before you join the road. But this is Long Lane. And Long Lane is actually, they believe an ancient trackway that once linked Clare Castle to Castle Headingham, about from where I am, probably seven miles in a straight line. And it would have been the main road linking these two sort of medieval settlements and fortresses. And this is what we keep following for about another, I think 400 meters. I'll turn right and then return towards Clare through the lovely fields, I think, of wheat and barley. So we've just come off Long Lane. In fact, the uh, tree line just over there is the edge of it and we've followed 
the field round. And you don't really realize this when you're walking up Long Lane, but you're actually starting to gain a little bit of height. And where we are between these two fields, we can actually see some really nice views. If I show you this side, I'm looking over in the direction of Stoke by Clare. I think the wind turbine in the distance is probably Poslingford and then Haverhill and stuff is further over that way. And then if I turn you this way, I'm looking over towards Clare itself. I can see the church, I can see a little bit of the castle. And I think I'm probably a good 40 or 50 meters above the town. And yeah, I can see for probably five or six miles, maybe more. The very end of this short walk allows you to explore Clare Priory as well and this priory was the first Augustinian priory in the entire country and dates to about 1248 and it is still in use part of it actually just behind me here is used as a retreat and um, I can't really explore it much today because they're setting up for the craft fair at the beginning of July but uh, it's still such a nice place to come and visit. Mm -hmm. 